Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll work through some examples of using the entile analytic function to solve some problems. If you're new to analytic functions, there are some links in the description box, including an introduction post that will help you understand the basics. The entile analytic function allows you to break a result set into a specified number of approximately equal groups or buckets. If the number of rows in the set is smaller than the number of buckets specified, the number of buckets will be reduced so there's one row per bucket. We start off with the list of employees in the EMP table. We're going to focus on salaries stored in the sal column. The entile analytic function is order sensitive and produces an error if we attempt to use it without an order by in the analytic clause. Unlike some other analytic functions, it doesn't support the windowing clause. If we don't use a partitioning clause, the whole result set is treated as a single partition. In this example, we'll divide the whole result set into five buckets. We use entile 5 because we want five buckets. We order the rows by salary, so the buckets will represent ascending pay groups. We haven't used a partitioning clause, so the whole result set is treated as a single partition. We can see the data has been split into five buckets based on ascending pay. We've added partition by department, which limits the action of the analytic function to within the partition. We've used entile2 to break the results into two buckets. This gives us two buckets per partition. We see each department is split into two buckets. We should see an approximately even split within the department, but this will be affected by the number of rows we're dealing with. We've used entile 10 and partition by department. No department has 10 rows, so what should we expect? Each department has one row per bucket, with the number of buckets determined by the number of rows. This is the best it can do, because you can't split what's not there. Entile is great for getting samples of data. We're using a similar query to what we used previously, but enclosed in an inline view. We've used partition by department to give us a per department result, and Entile 3 to split the people into three buckets within a department. From the outer query, we're limiting output to bucket 2, the middle bucket. As expected, we get the people from bucket 2 in each department, the middle third of the pay range for each department. Hopefully this has given you some idea of what the entile analytic function can be used for. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.